how y'all doing today hope all is well today uh i want to go over topic uh talking about the uh uh talking about what we should do just in case a nuclear bomb goes off and how to take shelter and cover and things like that to try to keep yourself and your family safe uh so let's just read right here uh it's uh it says, if a nuclear war breaks out, people should immediately take shelter in the corners of concrete buildings to have the best chances of survival. According to a team from Cyprus, it is better than cowering in corridors or near windows and doors. People should stay away these from, from these locations and immediately take shelter, uh, even in front rooms facing the explosion. One can from the airspeeds if positioned at the corners of the wall facing the blast, says Lee Arthur, Dr. Loannis Kokonakis from the University of Nicosia in a media release. The finding based on computer simulators of timely recently propagandist Vladimir Solovoj urged Russia to launch a nuclear attack a nuclear attack on Great Britain. Researchers use advanced modeling techniques to study how a nuclear blast wave speeds through a standing structure. Uh, it says the uh, there are mock-up feature rooms, windows, doorways, and corridors to work out airspeed following the blast wave, determining the best and worst places to be. Before I would study the danger to people inside a concrete reinforced building that withstands the blast wave was unclear, uh, says study author Demetrius Drikakis. Our study shows the high speed, the high air speeds remain a considerable hazard and can still result in several injuries or even fatalities. Results show that simply being in a sturdy, simply being in a sturdy premises is not enough to avoid injury. Tight spaces actually increase air speed. The uh, the blast wave causes air to reflect off walls and bend around corners, producing a force equivalent to up to 18 times a human body weight. The most dangerous critical indoor location to avoid. Or windows, or windows, uh, and corridors. Study says. So you know, man. You know, it's just some information on uh. There's just some information that we can use just in case these things take place. You know. Uh. It says, uh, time between the explosions and the arrival of the blast wave is only a few seconds. So quickly getting to a safe place is critical. Additionally, there will be increased radiation levels, unsafe buildings, damaged power and gas lines, and fires, as Dricocus. People should be concerned about all the above and seek immediate emergency assistance. So, yeah, man, they, you know, this is the warning that they're trying to give people. You know, just in case things happen, you know, we can always use the information to use to our own uh, ability, you know. There's no good place to be when a nuclear bomb goes off. Anything too close to instantly is instantly vaporized. Radiation also poses a serious health threat even at a distance. In between, there is another danger. The blast wave generated by the explosion, which produced air speed strong enough to lift people into the air and cause serious injury. Wow. The researchers simulated an atomic bomb explosion. Bomb explosion from a typical intercontinental ballistic missile. ICBM and the and the resulting blast wave to see how it would affect people sh sheltering indoors. 
outside of the immediate blast zone. The force was enough to topple some buildings and injure people caught outdoors. However, concrete structures can remain standing. Hmm. Uh, hmm, so, uh, you know, this is uh, some good information, man. You know, they say the researchers who finding, whose findings are published in the journal uh, Physics of Fluids hope their advice will never need to be followed. However, understanding the effect could help prevent death and guide rescue efforts. Um, Solovio, whose Vladimir Putin reported, reportedly watches on state TV regularly, has called on the Kremlin to target the West for supplying tanks and other weapons to Ukraine. There is a full-scale Third World War. Britain made a decision. Therefore, any military target on the territory of Britain and France are legitimate a legitimate for us to strike. Solo Vodge, Solo York claims, according to a statement from SWNS, we need to make an, it official and if necessary, then we can use tactical nuclear weapons. So yeah, man, it, this, this is getting serious, man. You heard they say it's the third world war. So they ain't say no you know, say third world war. So, you know, uh, they say the contents of the website do not cons constitute advice, do not constitute advice, and are provided for informational purpose only. So, like I say, man, you know, this is this is some good information we can use. You know, uh, you know. Remember, this is the end days, end times. So, uh, according to the scripture, you know, the end times is always going to be uh, when the transition, uh, transitioning powers, uh, you know, it, it's always got to be a battle to go out. So, you know, as we uh, understand the scriptures, we understand that this is the end times. The Most High, His Son, Yahweh is about to make His presence to the scene. Uh, and he's about to uh, reclaim his earth and raise up his people through 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 his prophets and through this word uh, through the word of him of the Most High. So I'll praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's uh, Arakutash. That's the Holy Spirit, and that's in the Hebrew tongue, who we call. In the English tongue, Christ or uh, Jesus. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you like what you're seeing or hearing, remember to uh, hit the notification bell and share the videos. Peace.